How you doing, five fans? It's Joseph Heron here with South Texas Contender, and I'm here with, wow, native of Cut and Shoot, Texas, Mr. Alfonso Lopez El Tigre. Gosh, it's good to see you back in the gym, back in the ring. How frustrating has it been in this, well, march back into the ring? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been tremendously frustrating, just kind of the having to go through the surgeries and the rehab and knowing you're going to be out of the ring for quite some time, actually longer than we really anticipated. So just the build up, getting back into it, you know, uh, you know, knocking the rust off in the gym and just going a little bit through the frustrations of, of you know, it's kind of starting over again, you know, I mean, really rebuilding and getting back to basics and, 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 and finding yourself as a fighter. Well, I originally said native of Cut and Shoot. That's where you reside now, but you're native of Corpus Christi. Yes, sir. So how have your fans in Corpus actually been? How supportive have they been in this, this entire time? And what does that mean to you, man? Tremendously supportive. You know, lots of encouragement, lots of positive words. Uh, it's, been, it's been great. It's been great to hear. You know, you have those days where you need that motivation. You need that backing. You need that support because, you know, as fighters, we, we, you know, we fight with, with ourselves daily. You know, it's, it's a struggle. Um, so to have those words, to have family and, and fan support is tremendous. And uh, it, it's been big, and they're waiting for me to return back to Corpus. That is outstanding. And I tell you what, I saw you working out over here, Afonz. You, you look sharp, brother. How do you feel, man? And, and how have you been able to stay sharp since your uh, rehab and since your march back to the ring? Yeah, uh, I got I to gotta credit my, uh, my coaching. I, I think when I had the time off, I, I, I dwelled into coaching and training fighters. And it really brought back a lot of fundamentals and, and technical stuff that I was overseeing myself do in the gym, you know? So I, it kind of made me mentally kick it back a notch and go, hey, I, I'm skipping a lot of things here. I got to go back and resort to the fundamentals. And, uh, and I think that was a big, big success, just bringing up the youth and the kids and having fun again, having, having a lot of fun, seeing kids smile, seeing kids at the gym. It just gave me extra motivation to push myself. And now with two healthy elbows, I mean, really, I mean, the last several fights I had, I was in lots of pain. And I couldn't punch, and, I, and it was a lot of struggle. So I feel great now. You know, we've seen you actually, we've seen you actually training with uh, or working out with a lot of fighters at the Plex Gym, Ronnie Shields, Sugar Land, Texas. How has that been, and has that been somewhat pivotal in coming back? Yeah, it's been big. It's been big. Open me with open arms. Welcome me with open arms. Uh, Ronnie's brought me in, and, and they've just made me feel as a part of the team. And although I drive three times down there, they welcome me in. They give me eye. There's lots of sparring, and I get tremendous support from the guys. And it's been big. It's helped me tremendously. Yeah, what's it been like sparring with Edwin Rodriguez? La Bomba, man, he can crack a little bit. Yeah, it's, a, it's the strongest guy I've probably been in the ring with. Uh, <laughs> and, just, and just an athlete. I mean, just tremendously an athlete. Uh, big, strong. I mean, you name it, the guy can do it. And just humble. You know, I, I, this is, I've been around with him the last couple, couple of years, year now, and just a humble, humble fighter. Really cool to be around, and I enjoy every minute of it. Well, last question. Obviously, huge event. Minute Maid Park. 40,000 people they're expecting. Baseball diamond. Those are two things you love, brother. Baseball and boxing, man. And how, you know, are, how excited are you, man? Are you going to be able to contain yourself in the yeah, ring? Yeah, I think I'll be able to contain myself. I'm tr tr tremendously excited about just the atmosphere and just getting back into this type, of, this type of scene with these types of fighters and this kind of event. I'm ready for it. I'm excited. and It's going to be a great show May 9th. Well, come out and see a ticket. Uh, get a ticket, guys, for this one on May 9th. It's going to be in uh, Houston, Texas at Minute Maid Park. It's going to be a Le Habita Golden Boy Promotions. Come and see Alfonso El Tigre. Lopez, guys, he's going to be on that undercard with all the talent. Canelo Kirkland, get a ticket. They start at $10, guys. We'll see you on May 9th. Thank you, Alfonso. Sorry about that, guys.